Hello and welcome to Movies, Money and More. I am Tanvi Shukla and I present to you the only show which brings the never heard before facts and figures about the entertainment industry. Before we start our big story for this week, let's find out what's on the plateau. On the show, Bachchan movies sell like no other. The idea behind adapting best-selling book. Understanding filmmaker Anurag Kashyap and his ideology. And the spotlight on the lesser known people, casting directors. He's the biggest superstar of the millennium and his movies can easily be that guide to become an actor. Amitabh Bachchan still rules the roost and maybe that's why you see actors trying hard to step into his giant shoes. In our first big story, we tell you why Bachchan movies sell like no other. रीमेक का सिलसिला है वो चाहे वो हॉलीवुड में हो या हमारी इंडस्ट्री में इट्स ऑलवेज कॉल्ड री अडेप्टेशन री विजिटिंग रीमेक तो कोई एग्जैक्टली नहीं बनाता समटाइम समी पेज हॉमेज जैसे हमने किया है आई थिंक वी पेड हॉमेज टू दी ओरिजिनल अग्नि पथ वी आर श्योर दैट अग्नि पथ इज वेरी क्लोज टू कर हार्ट बट नॉट एवरी वन अग्रीज विद आइडिया मुकेश भट्ट इज वन सच फिल्म मेकर हु क्वेश्चन लॉजिक Shadajali, due to people are dead and gone. For God's sake, he's very much alive and very much active. I'd like to question these makers: Why are they making this? Are there a lot of ideas? You know, it's what is important is way forward, and way forward is working with new ideas. I don't think so. One, you know, by by making these kind of films, you're saying that you're bankrupt and uh, not capable of thinking something new. The original Agni Path was released in 1990. And Amitabh Bachchan won the national award for best actor for his role as Vijay Dinanath Chauhan. The film made on a budget of 2 crore rupees collected 4 and a half crores at the box office. And how can we forget Amitabh Bachchan's act in Don released in 1978? Today's generation identifies Shah Rukh Khan as Don. While Chandra Bharat's Don with Amitabh made on a budget of 85 lakhs had collected 3.5 crore rupees at the box office Farhan Akhtar's Dawn with SRK collected 51 crores at the box office and the sequel managed to collect 71.75 crores at the box office The film is is has done phenomenally well you know it's um, it's uh, it was like probably one of the biggest hits of this last year um it's one of the biggest hits one of, it's going to be one of the biggest hits of all time you know in in the overseas as well it's probably the number 3 grosser of all time so i mean i don't know as a filmmaker and as a producer if you can ask for how much more you can ask for so while there have been comparisons between amitabh bachchan's on screen persona as a don and srk's version of being bad and yet cool Comparisons between Hrithik and Amitabh are also inevitable and the verdict will be out soon. Will Hrithik Roshan emerge as a winner with Agnipath? Will he create yet another history with his landmark performance as the iconic Vijay Dinanath Chauhan? We'll keep you posted on that, but now it's time to quickly take you through the latest buzz in Beat Out. Hello, suniye. Hey, chup na. Kya bol rahe the bhai suno? Four films were released in the second week of 2012. Charlie's Chaurasi, Ghost, Sada Ada and Tootia Dil. However, none of them managed to create the buzz to pull in the crowds and hence it looks like an impossible task for producers to recover their costs. Soch liya. Ab seedha chalte hain. Charlie's Chaurasi had veteran actor Nasiruddin Shah in the lead role and has received mixed reviews, but the collections are not making the producers happy. The film which was made on a budget of 14 crores including marketing and promotion collected only 1.75 crore rupees. The producers have sold the music rights between 50 lakhs and 1 crore and have not been able to sell the satellite right. Film like Charlie's Chaurasi would need that kind of marketing and promotion and all the actors were willing to do that but perhaps they did not choose to promote the film and that's why the people were not even aware of such a film releasing and uh, that's why people did not even notice that the film was released. and nobody and there has been no footfalls in the multiplexes nor the single screen
After two disastrous weeks at the box office, there are no Hindi film releases this week. That means good news for the makers of Agnipat, which releases on Republic Day. And it definitely looks like a good business strategy to get a clean week. During February and April, the audience will get to see varied films like Ek Mai Aur Ek Tu, Agent Vinod, Kahani and Houseful 2 among others. The IPL season which falls between April and May is usually considered a dull period. But Vidhu Vinod Chopra is one filmmaker who will go against the tide by releasing his film Ferrari Ki Sawari on 27th April 2012. <laughs> The film, which stars Sharman Joshi, Baman Irani and a child actor in the main lead, is about the unconditional love between father and son. And the dream that will be fulfilled by the son. That's definitely a huge risk which Vidhu Vinod Chopra is taking by releasing his next film, Ferrari Ki Savari, during the IPL. It will be great to know how does this risk pay off. Time for a short break now, but when we come back, we tell you all about those best-selling novels which went on to become a huge blockbuster at the box office.